Hello, so today we have a short video, but today is a cosplay transformation, and we are going back to Halloween before I lost the weight. Um, so I want to go ahead and just show you all off what I did for Halloween in 2019. I did a Edward Scissorhands, yes, a classic. So. Edward is super cool. I went ahead and I bought this cosplay off of Amazon. It was just the female Edward Scissorhands, but I kind of went with the male look on the face. So I went ahead and just did regu my regular makeup at first, but then after the concealer and the powder, I decided not to go anything further um, because then my foundation is a little bit darker. So I just kept the powder and then I started using some brown eyeshadow across the eyes to kind of give me that sleepy-ish look that Edward has, but at the same time like a ghostly look. Not even sure how to explain it, um, but that deep eye look, you know. So I'm just using a brown and this is one of my favorite palettes, which I will be listing below. They give me myself that like deeper, you know, skinnier face. I went ahead and used bronzer to kind of just bronze up my face. More concealer to kind of make that more tight. And then I went ahead and used um, scar gum uh, to go ahead and, sorry, scar putty to go ahead and make those scars that he has on his face. So I'm going ahead and I'm creating those with Scar Putty. The Scar Putty can be found at Party City during Halloween time especially. Um, that's when I recommend y'all get it and that's normally when I stock up on it. But from time to time they have it yearly. I've worked at Party City for like three years so yeah I know my way around a Party City. Anyway, I was looking at a reference picture to see where his scars were the entire time. So if you see me looking off, that's where I'm looking at to see where to place the scars properly. Um, you could go ahead and use some spirit gum underneath to try to get them to stick a little bit better. I was pretty rushed because I was going to an event, so I needed to quickly do this. And I went ahead and just, you know, spread them out with the back of a paintbrush. You could also go ahead and use professional tools that they have to go ahead and smear that out as well. Uh, scar putty can be a little complicated to work with. You do have to definitely warm it up with your hands. There's the, uh, I believe it's the Ben Nye uh, scar putty, which I do like to use. It's just super expensive. Um, and it's normally only sold online um, unless you have a special effects store where you're at. But yeah, so this is going to be a really short transformation video. I tried to go as fast as I could this day, and his look is actually pretty simple besides the scars. So, like I said, I'm just pushing it down and go ahead and stick it on my skin. You could go ahead and use some scar... Um, some scar... Why do I want to keep saying scar putty? Uh, it's a little sticky. Now I can't think about it, but I will list it below if I can think about it. I do have some. It's like a little gel, kind of a glue that will help the putty stick. Alrighty, so just spreading all that out. Like I said, this was Halloween of 2019. We are taking it back. This was 35 pounds later in my weight. <laughs> it's always weird seeing myself in the past. Alright, so now I'm going ahead and just adding some brown all over around the edges of the scars to kind of give them more of a natural look and kind of just blend them in more with my skin and also just like have that raised up look because the scars are kind of raised up so it gives it more of a raised up look. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my Edward Scissorhands wig and the gloves and this is honestly like a quick version of it. I hope you guys enjoy and you guys can find this cosplay on Amazon. I will list all the products used below. Like and subscribe. Bye.